Use a band saw to cut your material to length. Material used, two one inch by four inch by six inch and one quarter inch by three inch by eight inches. Using a hand grinder, now remove the mill scale from one side of the backing bar without gouging into the base material. Example of mill scale removed. On each of the one inch bars, a track torch is used to bevel the material at 22 and a half degrees. This is the required angle per the American Welding Society Joint Design BU2A. Grind the tops of the plates a minimum of one inch back from the top bevel edge to remove mill scale. Use a 220 grit grinding flap disc to smooth out the face of the bevels. Now use a metal flat file to remove any sharp edges from the top and bottom bevel. Take the quarter inch bar with the ground side up. Mark a line down the center of the eight inch length. Now from the center line draw one parallel line on either side one eighth of an inch. This will give us a quarter inch root opening which is needed for proper fit up. Now draw a line one inch down from the bottom and one inch from the top. This will give us six inches in between. Now place the one inch beveled bottom edges along the outer lines. Make sure the bottom edges of the bars are flush to the backing bar. Use clamps to hold the material together. Inspect the fit up to make sure the bottom edges are flush to the backing bar and the correct quarter inch root opening is achieved. On the back side of the bars, weld a quarter inch filler weld along the six inch length on both sides. Once this is completed, turn the plate over, weld four filler welds on the ends. Once this is completed, use a chipping hammer to remove the slag and a wire brush. This is another good opportunity to check the face of the bevel edge, the root opening, and the fit up before welding. Place the strong arm on the back side, center the strong arm, and make a quarter inch filler weld on one side for easy removal later. The strong arm will keep the plate from warping. When the welding inspector has verified that the test plate is ready for welding, he will now allow the test plate to be positioned in the position that you are qualifying in. Begin to make your first pass. This is called the root bead. Work from the bottom 
toward the top. Use a chipping hammer to remove the slag. Use a wire brush for cleaning. At this time, the welding inspector will check the area for proper fusion. After the welding inspector has accepted the first pass, the welder will now proceed During the welding process, the welder will inspect his weld to ensure proper fusion. The test plate is now completed and ready for another visual inspection. At this time, the welding inspector is using a height gauge to measure the height of the cover bead, which should be no more than one eighth of an inch. At this time, remove your strong arm from the back of your test plate. Now use a grinder to remove the welds located on either side of the plate. This is where your strong arm was welded. After this is completed, you have now completed your test plate coupon.